This is the perfect map for a Naruto versus Boruto fight. The final valley. Look at this. Are you ready to watch Naruto and Boruto fight? Here we go in three, two, one, go. Everyone take a good long look at this wobbler with the crazy big eyes. By the end of the video, we're gonna upgrade him into Boruto, the original, the kid, not the teen, not the adult, those are coming later. So going off that picture, he does have the crazy blonde hair like his dad. And his dad is Naruto, you guys should know that. And there's multiple hairstyles here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and the one we used for the dad for Naruto was the Will Nye the Science Guy hair. It was this one right here. We took it, we made it yellow, and it was a wonderful substitution for Naruto hair, but Boruto's is a little bit different. If you look at it, it's kind of straighter and, and chunkier and thicker. So the Will Nye the Science Guy hair is kind of out of the question. So what, what hair am I gonna find for him? What am I gonna do? I could do something like this, but that's not quite right. Y yeah, no, he, he's not Goku. That's not horrible, but it's not quite there either. Yeah, no. Thick and chunky. Thick and chunky and pointy. You know, this isn't bad if it didn't have the head Band, right? Take the headband. Let's just make the black. Make this this not gold. We gotta go more of a yellow like this. It's close, but can I do the ninja headband with this? Just gotta go over here. Type in headband, and then the sporty headband doesn't clip through. This headband is a big problem because when you combine the bandana with the headband, you take the bandana, you make the bandana black, and then you go back and you take the headband and you make the headband silver. Or was it the other way around? Hold on, this is the bandana. This, this one's supposed to be black. And then, and then the headband's supposed to be silver. Like, you know, this. I'm really, really good at this. And it gives you the vibe of the, of the headband of the ninja headband, the ninja steel plated headband. Especially when you hide it under the Will Nye the Science Guy hair. No, it's gotta be yellow. See, and look, it's, but it's Naruto. That's Naruto, see, the steel plated headband, it's Naruto. This is the wrong hair. This is not the right hair. I need to find Boruto hair. Um, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pick that yellow, but then I need to add a little bit more. Like, see, it was like thick and chunky and pointy. That's Boruto. Like, it's going the wrong direction. It's going back instead of forward. But it's thick and chunky and pointy, and it's the right color now. So if I can just add a little bit more hair to it to cover up the bald spots, I think we kind of got Boruto almost, maybe? Uh, no, 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 that's not it. God, I feel like I'm so close. Like, that's not bad, but the headband is completely covered. You can't seal the steel plated headband anymore. If I had that mon, I would take this hair and point it forward and make it completely different. Ugh. 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 I hate that this hippie hair is the closest we have to the Baruto hair in totally accurate battle simulator. And I, is there something, a bandana? I, I add the banda bandana, that doesn't come through. That doesn't, that goes over his eyes. That doesn't quite come through. And this one is underneath, it's underneath. Ah, and does I need something to poke through and act as the steel plate? So actually, you know what? I might take this and add it just to give the, the behind the head kind of thing going on here. I want to do the steel plate, but I've got nothing that can fit right there in his giant forehead. But that hair is the closest. Hold on, can I add it to the other crazy scientist hair? Where is the evil scientist hair at? Like, what if I take this, kind of like double up, and will this look good? Boruto, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm going with the hair. I'm going with that hair. I like it a lot. Okay, we, we've got this far. We, we've made his hair, but no steel plate. But I made his hair. It looks great. Now for his clothes. Our boy is rocking a jacket with a stripe down the arms with the popped collar opened up at the front with a white t-shirt and a necklace. Let's start by looking through the, the, the yeah. You know, there's only so many jackets with the front open. That's not horrible. There's no stripe down the arm, but it's open in the front. Make the stripe black, make the shirt black, keep this part a beautiful glistening white, but then you got these weird white stripes on the arms. That's totally wrong. There's really not a lot of options in here, is there? Like, I need a zip up hoodie with the front open, or at the very least, a zipped up hoodie with the front closed. I'll take that. Well, here's your zip up hoodie with the stripes down the arms. Okay, we're onto something here. If I take this, make sure it's a beautiful black, but then I take, not the zipper, I need this part, and it's gotta be red, because his are red. Okay, stripes on the arms, check. Zipper front, zipped up, half check. 
Well, the symbol on the chest, can I hide that somehow? Can I cover that with something? Can I sneak another shirt in there or a vest? Is there a vest that can cover that? That'd be sick. Pirate vest, pirate vest? No, nope. I was hoping. That would have been so cool to cover that up somehow. Uh, it's so close. Oh, but this helps to give him the pop color. What if I add that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't really cover it, but it does help him with the collar bit. We might come back to this one. Oh, this one also gives him a pop collar. Oh, can I color it the right colors? Get rid of the studs, because studs are stupid. A hey, popped collar, cool for our boy. I'm going with that one. I like, I like that collar, it's great. It should be red on the inside, but again, beggars and choosers. It's totally accurate battle simulator. We're limited in what we can do. Now we need to get him some pants and then some open toe boots. Let's start with the open toe boots, guys. You know, to do the open toe concept, I might need to combine multiple styles to make this work. If I take the Renaissance, Leg warmers, made them black, okay? And how his feet are open, right? And then on top of that, you add some like cool sandals, because these are kind of like sandals with open toes. Not quite that, just gonna zoom in on his feet. There, now, now we can all stare at Boruto's feet. It's your favorite thing to do. And then what if I start combining multiple sandal types to like cover his feet as much as possible, leaving his toes exposed? It's a little bit of creative use of game mechanics, but we might be able to make it work. Take the Will Nye the Science Guy sandals, again, color everything black and just hide the fact that those are sandals as we continue to leave his toes exposed and somehow cover the rest of his feet. I gotta get the backs of these feet somehow. <laughs> oh, which shoes cover up a tiny little bit more of the feet. We will add it. We will add it, 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 not wrong colors. We will add it and cover as much of his feet as we, wait. The brown strap, I don't, the br br brown, but nope, goodbye. I couldn't color the brown straps, I don't know why. Oh, Artemis shoes, additional coverage. Hopefully it colors nicely, it does. Additional coverage on the feet, leaving the toes still exposed. Boruto is currently wearing three, four sets of footwear. Would anyone else pay this much attention to someone's feet? Nope, just, just, just crow, just trying to make it perfect. But that is it, that is as much as we can cover his feet. Now our, our guy needs pants, cause he's literally just standing here with no pants. Poor Boruto. Yeah, we're just gonna slap some pants on him. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just pants. It's just pants, but nothing complicated there. Four abilities. We have to be careful, but there are certain ones we know we can give him for sure at his young stage. The first one is self copy. I mean, he is Naruto's son. He does have Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. And before any of you get mad at me for saying Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, it's a Japanese way of saying it. Look, Kage Bunshin no Jutsu is it's the clone Jutsu. Okay, calm down, comment section. In fact, I'm gonna give that to him uh, maybe twice. I wanna make sure he has lots and lots of copies. It's fun. Now, I wanna give him a Rasengan. You know, he learns Rasengan as a young child. And I had a good idea. You do the apple throw in the one hand. So he's actually holding the apple, but we're gonna replace the apple with a different ability. And there's a few ways you can do it. You can do Necromancer skulls, but that's two skulls. That's just, that's wrong. You can pick a fireball, and that's kind of close, but still not quite accurate. But I kind of like magic. Missile. I kind of like how that looks as a Rosengon. What do you guys think? I, I think it's pretty good. In his other hand, I'll give him a giant punch because he can punch some stuff because he's, you know, a, a ninja. On the flip side, you could do some jerkins, but that might be a teen Boruto in the future. Other abilities, we will give him a Taekwondo kick. We'll give him a little bit of a projectile. Nothing crazy, just a normal projectile block. And I'm going to give him a Jester dodge just so we can dodge up close. Call this guy Boruto. And we're going to take a picture of our lovely Boruto. And now we'll take him for a spin. Here is our amazing Boruto in all of his glory. And honestly, we did a pretty good job considering the circumstances. And his first fight is going to be a handful of knights and squires. And he is going to throw this magic missile. So it looks like a Rosengan, but doesn't quite behave like one. And his copy ability is going off. So I'm not sure if this is the correct ability to use because it's not quite the Rosengan. I love the appearance. I love the look, but I do not love how combat seems to be going with our Baruto creature. He's being more of a ranged unit, unleashing magic missiles as opposed to getting in and punching with his abilities and being up close and personal. And the self-copy is not activating nearly enough for me. It's actually activating very rarely. Overall, a solid first attempt. Now, what if we do a shuriken throw? I mean, it makes more sense than a Rosengan. 
But I also wanted to be up close and personal and do melee fighting. I wish I could give him a pair of giant punches, but make it seem like he's holding on to a Rosin Gun. That would be fantastic. And here we have our melee centric Boruto, and he's gonna be fighting against Mr. Death himself and the Skeleton Army. And let's see what he can do when his range attack has been removed and he's just kind of lying on the ground. Boruto, are you gonna get involved here, buddy? There we go. Self copy, multiple self copies, destroying Mr. Death himself. And he continues to take a bit of a dirt nap as he works his way in to fight these poor skulls and archers. This is closer to a kid Boruto. Now we need to test him against his dad. This is the perfect map for a Naruto versus Boruto fight. The final valley. Look at this. Are you ready to watch Naruto and Boruto fight? Here we go in three, two, one, go. The fight begins. And hopefully Naruto and Boruto don't go for the water. Okay, okay. Naruto seems to be smart enough. He's working his way around the map. I mean, sure, there's a bunch of water in there. And hopefully Naruto navigates it wonderfully and begins to approach his little boy. Approach his son. Gonna teach him a lesson of what it means to be Hokage. Boruto with the deflect bar, 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 Boruto. Boruto, but... No, no. Redo! Redo! Much better. Now we have them fighting away from the water in case they fail. We have the self-copy ability for Naruto going off. He's throwing his Rasengans. The Rasengans are affecting Boruto. Boruto's finally in there punching his dad. Dad going for the whirlwind slash. All the copies being dissipated except for one for Boruto. Who? will end up winning this fight, dad or son. Honestly, my money's on Naruto, because, you know, Hokage. But Boruto is pretty powerful, not gonna lie. Naruto is getting up and out of the arena? Uh, excuse me, sir, are you supposed to be up here? And Boruto can't seem to climb off the ramp. Hold on, I I I'm gonna chase you, dad. Come here, dad, dad, wait for me, please. Let me deflect these things coming up to you. Dad, hold. Oh, this is really awkward to navigate. If I could just get Boruto up there, we could actually go and continue to have some fun. Oh, oh, I've done it. I've done it. No, Boruto has made it. I will unpossess Boruto and the fight will continue. Boruto chasing his dad. If he can just get a little bit closer. If Naruto would just stop backpedaling for even just a sec. Oh, Nar Naruto, Naruto, the edge of the map. Naruto, no Boruto outsmarted his dad and defeated him. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the links on the screen. Watch more awesome content, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.